someone's finally getting back to their senses. All right, someone's finally getting back to their senses and someone's had a sudden realization, okay? This is more like an epiphany, okay? It's like the universe has all of a sudden given them a huge wake up call, like a smack on their head, a splash of cold water on their face. And now someone's getting out of their head, okay? Someone's getting out of their way, getting out of their head. They're getting back to their senses. They're no more in that self-imprisonment. They're no more in that self-limiting beliefs. Okay, that's the good news that finally if there was a situation which was being blocked because someone staying in their mind, someone who was still in their head, this could be someone who was creating thoughts and scenarios, negative thoughts and scenarios in their head which didn't really exist, okay, they're finally coming out of it because they have an epiphany, they have a realization, there's like an aha moment, you know, someone's realized something, okay. And there is a brand new beginning coming up for you guys. There is a brand new beginning coming up for you guys, okay? And this is a commitment. We have the Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. There is commitment, something stable, something secure, something committed, okay? Something that holds value and stability, all right? Okay, right. So what here I see is that uh, there's someone here, because with, with the hangman in reverse, I feel your biggest challenge is going to be that there have been things that are stagnant between you guys, okay? Maybe no one's talking, maybe someone's just taking their time, okay? Whatever it is, right? Your biggest challenge is going to be to come out of that isolation and take action, okay? Maybe there's been a long time, a long period where there's things that are just completely on hold, okay? Nothing's moving. Nothing's going forward, nothing's going back, like a pendulum, okay? You guys are just hanging and not doing anything about it. Yes, thinking about the situation, but your challenge is that there's enough time you've given this, okay? You've given enough time to think, it's time to take action now, okay? It's time to make that move. It's time to get out of that stagnation mode and get your motor back and get the ball rolling. You have, you're dealing with someone or on your mind you have the king of cups in reverse. You're dealing with someone who has huge, huge trust issues, okay? This person has having a very hard time opening up. Could be dealing with someone who's emotionally unavailable or you could be doing this to the other person, okay? Maybe this person was in their head, okay? And that's why you were emotionally shut off. You closed off yourself and they closed off themselves. So things were completely on. There was just no momentum be between you guys, okay? But yeah, you're emotionally close up, okay? This is not you, this is the person you're dealing with, okay? You're not wanting to be emotionally vulnerable, you're not being open, all right? Right now, your emotions are going through a roller coaster right now, okay? You haven't, your, your emotions are not stabilized. Either you're thinking too much from your mind or you're thinking too much from your heart, okay? You don't have a balance right now. But trust is the biggest issue here. The reason for the reading is the judgment, okay? So there is a huge wake-up call, like I said in the beginning, okay? Someone has a huge wake-up call and there is going to be a final decision made, okay? If you guys have broken up, then there is a reconciliation coming in. If you guys are together and if you guys have given each other a break for a while, it's time. It's time to make a final assertive decision, okay? It's time to make that decision. That time is here. And this is the judgment, okay? So this is like a huge wake-up call. You could be seeing a lot of signs, 11-11. You could be seeing a lot of synchronicities, okay? So yeah, pro just pick up on the signs if you're seeing them, okay? The, the signs are telling you something. Maybe the signs are cautioning you or the signs are telling you like, it is time now, all right, to make that move. See, in the past, you could have been juggling a situation or this could be the other person trying to juggle a situation, okay? Maybe they were juggling two people or juggling a situation, weighing the pros and cons, okay? Whether they want to be with you or not, if they want to reconcile with you or not, if they want to make a final decision of moving forward with you or not. Because, and I'm seeing here, because this person had trust issues, okay? This person was very trapped in their head, okay? They, they, had, they were paralyzed by fear, okay? They looked at every single possibility of things not working out in this relationship rather than looking at possibilities of how this relationship could work out, okay? That's why they were very unclear, okay? They were constantly juggling and trying to, you know, like weigh the pros and cons or they were just not sure is what I'm getting, okay? They were not clear about what they wanted. Now, what ha what's happening here is I think because of that, there is a lack of communication, okay? There's a lack of spark here. Okay, the other person out here, because this person is struggling so much, right? The other person out here probably is shutting off too. And they're not sure if they want to communicate. This is just a lack of communication in the near future, okay? Because they, that, that mojo is missing, that spark is missing, okay? Because you guys could have been on a hold for a very long time. Someone's shut off, they were stuck in their head. 
could be juggling you and now you want a final decision okay but by the time this person comes back i think you're losing that that jive you're losing that spark okay and you're not sure if you want to take action or you want to communicate okay at the same time it could also be that you're dealing with someone very immature okay because we have the king and the pager okay that's like a huge energetic difference okay could be an age difference doesn't have to be but you're one you're the king okay you could have given and given and given to this person for a very long time okay and maybe this person was still a page okay and they're just not ready to level up is what i'm getting okay the page is the page of wands is someone who's not ready to get to the next level okay so yeah just dealing with a page and you're the king here that's why this emotional discontentment okay you don't trust this person anymore you could love them to the moon and back but now you're shut off your trust issues because this person could have been very very indecisive in the past okay very indecisive they could have put you on hold only because they were coming in their own way let me tell you that okay and now you're losing your shit you're losing that spark okay or this is just this other person here who's just not sure if they want to communicate or they're just not sure if they should take action okay again that's a very immature energy okay that's just someone who's just not ready so that's something you need to keep in mind you have someone stalking you either you're stalking someone or they're stalking you okay but someone wants to talk so this is a lot of spying stalking looking at you watching at you from watching you from a distance a lot of stalking social media etc okay someone's watching you or you're watching someone okay i think you're watching someone from far So someone could be watching you from far, but they're not. But they're not sure if they want to communicate. See, this is exactly what's going on. You're dealing with pages here, and you're the king here. So you understand the difference, right? You have reached that emotional maturity. Okay, you know exactly what you want. They don't even know what they want. You're dealing with someone who doesn't know what they want. Then they feel they're not ready. They can watch you from a distance, look at you, spy at you, spy at you, spy you, spy on you from a distance, like fuck, but not talk to you. That's the deal here. okay and you in turn are losing hope you feel it's a hopeless situation okay you feel this is hopeless and things are just getting nowhere okay but this is a very divine connection okay things are going to happen at the right time so you're going to have to have a lot of patience a lot of patience okay the only issue i see here that there is a difference of maturity yes this person was in their head for a very long time but they're coming out of it okay but this is going to be like not like Zero to hundred and ten seconds. Okay, it's it's growing. It's going to take some time. Okay, look, it's not like this person is not interested in you. Okay, they're just not sure about communicating because they're watching you. If they weren't interested, we would have had the page of swords in you or someone who just has nothing to say. They're just playing mind games. So they're watching you. Okay, they're trying to get more information about you. But your problem is that because you are the king here, right? You know what you want. You're very sure about what you want. You're shut out because they're shut out because they're not making a decision. That's why you're losing faith in this connection. I feel free to switch the energy, all right? Just Yeah, see? They're holding back. They're holding back. They're just going to watch and they're holding back. And because you're holding back, they're holding back. They're watching you from a distance, right? And you're losing faith because they're just watching. They're not saying anything. That passion is missing. The messages are missing. Maybe this person is giving you the cold shoulder. Maybe they're just being they're being very cold towards you, okay? But whoever is watching from a distance is putting in their full strength, courage, and stamina, okay, to hold back. So if if this person is holding, if you're holding back from this person and just spying on them, okay, then this person is losing faith in the meantime because you want to make a final decision out here, okay. This person is just taking their own sweet time, and that's their biggest challenge to come out of that stagnancy and take that action. You know, start the movement. Well, ultimately, there is probably I am saying there are chances of having a breakup or a separation, or there is a chance because see we have the tower here already. Okay, the tower is again a blow up. Okay, a huge blow up, and with the ten of cups in reverse here, so there are chances that I mean things are just going to blow up on your face. All right, but look, you don't have to be so scared. The tower is is never something bad. The tower is a good thing because it is more like a relationship that is built on a crooked foundation. Okay, you'd rather have it now. Then be so involved with someone that you later realize, you know what? I should have. It's almost like the universe kept warning you something's not built on a strong foundation. Something's not built the right way. You need to build it on truth. The foundation has to be really strong. Maybe you had a lot of signs, okay? But now, since you're not listening, the universe is going to come and smack you on your head. That's what's happening. And there is probably going to be a separation or a breakup, all right? But this is going to be 
a situation, a relationship, a family member, or whoever you're with, involved with, okay, you're dealing with in love, okay, this situation is going to drain you out, okay, you're going to end the connection, or you're just not, not feeling as fulfilled in a relationship that you once were emotionally very, very happy in, okay, so that's what I have for you, um, I hope this reading resonates with you, leave your comments below, and I'll see you next time, bye-bye.